All right. Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about the second part of the VB air handling where we're talking about the error object. Okay. Uh, it's nice that the error, that when you do have an error, you could program for an error object. And that's a, a great, great little feature. And so I'm going to go ahead down here to my other sample here. And uh, we're going to use the err object. Uh, I don't think you can see it on your screen. We have the err object here. This is my sample. Again, it's on the, on the blog at vbahowto.com. This is going to cause an error. Okay, so here I'm going ahead and running it. Uh, the err object is something that can program down here. Err object dot number. Okay, there are very there are three different things you could look at on the err object. Three things in particular we're going to look at. Uh, we have a the number, we have the description, and we have the source. Okay, so the number and the description are. Actually, the numbers most I, I use them most often, and I can have a message box saying the er description uh, afterwards, and so that's that's really useful to me. I have uh, this caused an error, and let's go ahead and trap it, and look at the error number that pops up. Normally, if you hover over this, it'll tell you the tell you your error number, what error number you have, but if you can't then it's useful to highlight this and open up your immediate window down here control G or you can go up there to the debug window and type in a question mark and what is the error number okay it's error number 11 all right so let's go down here if I have a case of 11 I want to say I want to be more specific in what my error number is and that's one of the things you can do with this error object the error object is that you could be real specific about your error you cannot divide by zero okay that's what number 11 is so I could say okay well this is error number 11 so I have a select case if the case of the error number is 11 which it is and I'm going to have a message box saying you cannot divide by zero. Notice these other attributes of the of the uh, of the message box. We have a comma. Uh, we have the type of message box. I'm going to not go through this real. I'm only going to go through this really quickly because um, it's not really about this. But uh, I've, I'm, I'll say it's an exclamation point or exclamation type box. And this app name constant that's real uh, real nice okay uh, right up here in my general declarations I put public constant app name and I put my app name up here you kind of customize your application a bit and you may want to put this into a module by itself I like to um, I do I, I put uh, I put it up here just for just for just for grins yeah it's in a module already but app name it, it capitalizes itself because it recognizes itself as app name. It's a constant, which means it never changes. The value is always going to be the same. And you can use this all through your application. App, app underscore name. Okay, so you can add divide by zero, and then I'm going to show the user that you can add divide by zero. Okay, that's fine. And and select. So, and select, and I'm ending the process. Now, if you watch the previous video, you could you could say uh, resume, okay, or resume next, and it would go on to the next bit of code. Here, I did not do that. I just said, okay, well, it's a, x, you can I divide by zero, that's it. Now, if this one here, if this was not here, I'm going to go ahead and comment these out. I would go down here and I would say it would, it would just skip the whole thing because error number 11 is not here. That case is not in, in this. So then I'd go to the my case else and I could say uh, an error resulted. And again, this is uh, enumerated number 16. An error resulted. 
bang Eric's project that's the title it looks it looks it looks more official like that it looks more professional and then I go ahead and close out all right. Again, this is um, it, the code is going to be at the blog at vbahowto.com. Uh, make sure that you rate the city if you can, and go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you if uh, you have that capability. Uh, visit the blog at vbahowto.com. If I didn't say that already enough, and then you can get the code there and the videos. All right. Uh, lots of other helpful videos there too and you could actually get um, the whole series which is a, uh, a lot of videos it's over 30 days worth all right uh, and uh, it's for nothing I will talk to you soon in the next video bye